All right, we are live. We are here. Okay. All right. Okay, we are live. All right, hello everybody. We are super duper live. We made it. <laughs> Let me turn this down. Monitor. All right, if we have not met before, my name is Angelica, nice to meet you. And today we are going to do Move and Meditate, which is 45 minutes of asana practice followed by 15 minutes of yoga nidra. Now, as we get on to this practice, know that there is a playlist that you can use. I'm going to try my best to pop it in the chat so that way we can use it for class. And then today we're going to get started on our backs, so super restorative. Yeah, let's just start and do this sans music, shall we? Start off by laying down on your back to release all of this into the ground to start. As you lay down, you can lay down with your feet, mats with knees knocked together, or you can have your legs out long. Take your time to set up as you need to. Allowing for whatever came before this to be just that, something that came before, and to really arrive in the here and now. And as you arrive here onto your mat, let's start this practice with a few big breaths. Finding a small SH, press your air out, Refill your lungs, take an expansive inhale in, and open mouth sigh. <sighs> Two more bigger inhale, full exhale. <sighs> 
Once more, biggest breath in of your Saturday. And sigh. <sighs> and let your breath breathe itself, whether it's in through your nose, out of your nose. Maybe you're breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. As you let your breath breathe itself, know that today we will explore light and it's many, many forms. Sometimes when we hear the word light, we can think of more of a physical feeling of light. Maybe it's more of a sensation, seeing something light. So today we'll play with light. As we play, take one more inhale, one more exhale. And let your feet become light as you reach the soles of your feet up towards the ceiling, giving yourself a stretch through the backs of your heels. You might point your toes and scrunch them a couple times, especially because we tend to walk around a whole lot or even stand up a whole lot. Really let your feet become light. And slowly plant both feet down on your next breath out. And find a figure four shape, crossing your right ankle on top of your left thigh, flexing in your right foot. Your left hand is down by your left hip, palm face down. Place your right palm on your right hip. So you actually want to be on your inner thigh, but very close to your hip. So you can press down, forward, and up, giving yourself some room in the front of your right hip. Take a few breaths here. With every exhale, creating a little more space. After that third breath out, uncross your figure four. Go for the other ankle on top. So this time it is left ankle on top of right thigh. Right hand next to your right hip, palm face down. And then you're going to place the palm of your left hand on your left inner thigh, very close to your hips. You can press down, forward and up, creating some space in your left hip. Evening out with three big breaths. And then from here, uncross your legs, open your arms out like the letter T. Now if you open your arms out and there's not much space, you can cactus your arms, elbows in line with your shoulders, backs of your hands on the ground. From here, you're going to bump your hips over to the right, bring your knees in towards you, and let your knees fall to the left. Now take your time as you're finding this twist, knowing that as you're twisting, you're still keeping your right shoulder blade on your mat as best you can. And if you'd like a little boost from gravity in this stretch, your left hand can find the outside of your right thigh, giving it a gentle press. Finding that twist from your armpit down to your hip. Give it one more big inhale and one more complete exhale. And then slowly bring your feet back to the ground, knees to center, switch sides. This time bump your hips towards the left. Knees come in and they fall over to the right. Take your time to set up your hips once more. This time finding that long twist from left armpit down left hip. Maybe you place your right hand outside of your left thigh, giving yourself a bit of an extra stretch right here. Last round of breath. After your exhale, bring it to center. You can place your hands behind your thighs or on top of your shins. Take three very big rocks up to sit. After the third rock, we'll meet in tabletop.
When you find your way to your tabletop, palms will come underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And as we're in this shape, take a moment to pay attention to your hands, pressing into your index fingers, especially the knuckle of your index finger, pressing your finger pads and your thumb into the mat, squeezing your thumbs towards center, rotating your armpits in towards center. Once we have the hands and arms placed, let's take a cow pose, inhaling to lift your chin, broaden through your chest, sending your tail high. On your exhale, cat pose, rounding out in your spine, pulling forehead to pelvis, pelvis to forehead. Next inhale, cow pose, lift your chin, lift your chest, lift your tail. Exhale, cat pose, round out in your spine, press the ground away. You have three more like this to take at your own pace. And as you move, can you invite in some lightness into the torso? So really lifting in your body as you find your cat, lifting in the top of your chest as you find your cow, continue to move like you. And then after your third round of breath, hands are on the mat, nice and firm. Spine is long, low navel pulls up towards ribs and towards spine. Tuck your toes under, hips high, head low, find a downward facing dog. At the top of your down dog, finding either long legs or a soft bend to both knees. Continue to press the ground away as you lift your tail high. Take an inhale and an exhale. Next inhale, shift forward, plank pose. Exhale, hips high, head low, down dog. We take three more. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, shift back. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, shift back. Last one. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, shift back. Hips high, head low, downward facing dog. At the top of your down dog, look between your hands and tiptoe to the top of your mat. When you find the top of your mat, feet about hips width. If you'd like to measure, that's two fists in between the arches of your feet, both feet parallel. Deep bend in both knees. This is your time. About five big rounds of breath to move or find stillness like you, meaning you might grab for opposite elbow. Maybe you let your arms hang. You can include that sway from side to side. If you grabbed opposite elbow, make sure to switch sides so you even it out. Last couple of breaths in this fold. And slowly bring yourself to center. Take a soft bend to both knees. Roll all the way up to a mountain pose. When you arrive at the top of your mountain, bring your shoulders up by your ears, down your back. Hands face the front of your space. Now, as you find your rooted base, really plug down into your big toes, the balls of both feet, both heels, anchoring in the center of your pelvis so that you can find lift from the floor of your pelvis up to the crown of your head. Now, at the top of this mountain, you can continue to breathe as you wish or you might start to switch to an ujjayi breath. It's a breath that travels in and out of the nose. Slight constriction in the back of your throat. Sort of like you're drinking through a straw as you breathe in and out. Whether it's ujjayi or another breath, start to reach your arms all the way up. Look up, lift up, reach up, take a big inhale at the top. On your exhale, hinge at your hips, fold all the way down. From there, take a halfway lift, crown of your head reaches forward. Hands can be above or below your knees as you lengthen and back side body. On your next exhale, hands tent on the mat, step your left foot back, low lunge. When you find your low lunge, tap your left knee down, untuck your left toes, reach your arms forward and up, finding a low 
crescent lunge. Now, as you're finding this low crescent lunge, plug down into your big toe, ball of your foot heel, anchor down with your left shin, the shoelace side of your left foot, squeeze your inner thighs towards center. Now you can keep your pelvis more over your back knee, or if you'd like a stretch to the front of your left hip, you can press your pelvis forward in space. If you do press your pelvis forward and you find that your knee goes far past your ankle, always know that you can adjust your shape. You can toe heel crawl your right foot farther forward so that way your knee is stacking over your ankle. Once you have your solidified base, lift from the floor of your pelvis through your fingertips and invite in a twist. Left hand forward, right hand back, wrapping your right ribs around the back. Wrapping your left ribs around and forward to the right side of your space. Reach away through both hands as you look to the right. Take one more inhale. Stay for your exhale to twist, twist, twist. And then slowly cartwheel your hands down to frame your front foot. Shift your hips back in space. Find a half split runner stretch. So your hips stack over your back knee. Your right leg lengthens any amount. So that means you can have that super straight right leg. Or if your hamstrings are like, nope, not today, you can take a soft bend to your knee. Flex your right toes towards you. Think right sit bone reaching back in space. Hinge at your hips. Take a couple really big breaths here. Down your right leg. And after your next breath out, look towards the top edge of your mat. Come through a low lunge. Bend your front knee. Tuck your left toes. Warrior two. Ground your left heel down. Windmill your arms. Left arm goes up and back. Right hand reaches forward. Take your time to adjust your feet as you need to in warrior two. Back foot can be parallel to the back edge of your mat or turned in slightly. Your front knee is over your front ankle. Pelvis underneath your rib cage. Tall spine as you look over your right hand, reaching away through both sets of fingertips. You can use your exhales to stay where you are, maybe to sit a little bit lower in your warrior two. Take one more inhale. On your exhale, straight right leg, triangle pose. Right hand reaches far forward and then down. Left hand stretches up to the ceiling. Leaning your upper body up and back in space, your left hand is reaching high. Right hand is placed on your shin. So rather than gripping your shin for dear life, really place your hand there. Allow for there to be, to, allow for there to be some lightness in your right hand. And if you'd like to take the half bind left arm behind your back, you're more than welcome to. Left shoulder presses down your back. Right ribs are long. Take one more round of breath in your triangle pose. And then keep everything the same, but have your right arm frame your face. So from your left sit bone to your right fingertips, there is a very long line of energy. If you're not looking towards the ceiling, slowly start to look towards the ceiling. Then stand all the way up, flying warrior. Feet parallel. Arms reach high. <sighs> take a breath out at the top and take up some space, especially if you've been curling up on the couch or in bed watching TV or the internet all day, open up, take a moment to wiggle your fingertips, wiggle your toes, lengthen everything. Next breath out, we take a squat. So cactus your arms, elbows in line with your shoulders, heels in, toes out, sit low. Now, as you find your squat, really press your inner thighs back in space. Know that if you ever want to, you can really place your hands on your inner thighs and feel that press back. Keep your spine more tall rather than pitching forward. Sit low in your squat, tall in your chest. One more time, low in your squat, tall in your chest. Flying warrior, bring it all the way back up. Arms long, legs long. Warrior two, right foot returns forward. So your right toes are to the top edge of your mat. Fingertips are reaching long. From there, take a supported side angle, right forearm on top of your thigh. Left arm reaches up overhead, palm facing you. So as you're finding this shape, similar to triangle, rather than sinking down into your right shoulder, lift up and lengthen on right side. 
Keeping this bend in your front knee, we're going to come into a reverse warrior. Left hand travels down the back of your left thigh. Right hand reaches forward, up, and over. Staying low in your front lunge, reach far as you reach up and over through your right hand. Take a breath in at the top. On your exhale, supported side angle, forearm to thigh, left arm reaches up and over. We'll wave between these two shapes a couple more times. On your inhale, reverse warrior, right hand reaches up and over. On your exhale, supported side angle, forearm to thigh, left arm up and over. Last round, inhale, bring the arm all the way up. On the exhale, supported side angle, to low lunge, two hands will come down. Step your right foot back. Pause here. Taking a flow for today. Have your hands underneath your shoulders to start. Keep your toes tucked, thighs squeezed together. Now as you shift forward in space, lift your chest and tail like a cow pose. Then send your shoulders past your fingertips as you lower just your chest and chin down. From there, inchworm into a baby cobra, belly finds the mat. Tops of the feet press down, elbows hug your ribs, heart lifts. On your exhale, press through a tabletop. Tuck your toes, hips high, head low, downward facing dog. At the top of your downward facing dog, taking your inhale and your exhale. Look to the top edge of your mat, tiptoe all the way forward. Take your time to find your way to the top. And when you do, Big bend to both knees. This time, wrap your peace fingers and thumb around your big toes. So your index finger, ring finger, thumb, middle finger, thumb. Wrap around your big toes. Thumbs wrap on the inside. You can have a soft bend to your knees or you can lengthen long in your legs. If you lengthen long in your legs, make sure you don't start to sit all the way towards your heels. Shift more toward the center of your feet. If your legs are long, you might bend the elbows outwards as the crown of your head comes closer to the ground. If you have soft knees, let your fingers be where they are. Feel the space that's being created in low back. A couple more breaths, no matter your variation. From there, from there on your next breath out, let go of your big toes. Bend at both knees. Roll all the way up to mountain pose. At the top of your mountain pose, shoulders go up by your ears, down your back, hands face the front of your space. Tapping back into your breath. Taking in your inhale. And your exhale. From there, arms reach up, lifting up. Inhale to lengthen up. And on your exhale, hinge at your hips as you fold forward. From there, take a halfway lift, kind of your head lengthens, hands either above or below your knees. Then tent your fingertips down, right foot steps back. From that low lunge, tap your right knees down, untuck your right toes, arms reach forward and up, low crescent lunge on the other side. Take the same amount of care to ground down from the pelvis down, to squeeze inner thighs to center, and maybe press your pelvis forward. As your fingertips are lifted, stay proud in your chest as you find your twist. Right hand forward, left hand back. So this time, right ribs are wrapping around to the left. Left ribs are wrapping to the right. Finding this twist as you ring out your spine. One more inhale. Exhale to twist, twist, twist. Cartwheel your hands down. Shift your hips back, half split, runner stretch. If you wipe some perspiration along the way, you might do that. And then refocus on the stretch that you are in, hips stacked over your back knee, lengthening in your front leg any amount, toes flex towards you. Hinge at your hips, take your time to fold, lengthening in your spine as you fold. Evening out your stretch with a couple more big breaths.
After your next breath out, look towards the top of your mat. Come to a low lunge, bending your left knee, tucking your right toes. Ground your right heel down. Warrior two, right arm travels up and around. Left arm reaches forward. Take your time to find your feet. Long right leg, low left lunge. Reach away from center through both sets of fingertips. Proud in your chest, so shoulder blades down your back, ever so slightly lifted in the front of your chest. Look over your left fingertips. Take one more inhale. Stay for the exhale. One more inhale. On your next exhale, long left leg, triangle pose, reach far forward, forward and down. And this time right arm reaches high. Left hand is placed on left shin. Taking your time to find length along left side so your left ribs are more parallel to the ground rather than curving towards the ground. Right arm can stay high or maybe you transform it into that triangle with a half bind. Wrapping your right arm behind your back, reaching for your left hip crease. Roll your right shoulder down your back. Breathe into the length of your legs, ribs. From there, everything stays the same. Left arm comes to frame your face this time. So a whole lot of lift on left side to maintain this long line from your right sit bone. So left fingertips reach far, start to look toward the ceiling. Flying warrior, come all the way up. I'll turn around to face you. As you find yourself in your flying warrior, take a moment to take up space one more time. More space than you've taken up in a very long time. If you want to wiggle, wiggle. If you want to breathe loud, breathe loud. Just take up space. On your exhale, we squat once more. Heels in, toes out, arms cactus, finding your squat. Now, as you're squatting low this time, you can stay right here, or you might invite in more of that physical lightness by lifting one heel. You might lift the other heel. Maybe it's just one heel at a time. Maybe it's two heels at the same time. Press more towards your big toes, balls of both feet. One more inhale. Stay for your exhale. Next inhale, heels drop, flying warrior, reach up, take up space. On your exhale, warrior two, left toes return to the front. From here, take a moment to reach away. On your exhale, supported side angle. Left forearm on your thigh, right arm reaches up and over, palm facing you. Left ribs drop under, right ribs peel back. Length on two sides of ribs. Stay low in your front lunge. From here, let's shift it, reverse warrior. Left hand stretches forward, up and over. Inhaling into left side. On your exhale, supported side angle, right arm reaches over. Two more times, inhale, lift high. Exhale, forearm to thigh. Last one, inhale, reach up and over. On your exhale, pass through supported side angle to take it to a low lunge. Hands come down, step your feet back, take your flow, tapping your knee, shifting forward. When you make your way back to a downward facing dog, gently tap your knees down for a table top. When you arrive in your table top, you might take a couple of cats and cows. You might just stay still and breathe out. Take one more round of breath to do what you need to do to find a steady table top. Once you find your steady table top, you're going to find a supported side plank. So begin by lengthening your left leg back, toes in contact with your mat. From there, pivot your right shin 45 or 90 degrees to the right. Ground your left heel down, reach your left hand high. Now, as you're reaching your left hand high, notice if all of your focus went into your base. Yes, you have your right hand on the ground and you're lifting out of it. Yes, you have your right shit down, shin down <laughs> and you're lifting out of it. But can you also pay attention to your left foot? Grounding down in pinky toe side of your left foot, your big toe of your left foot, the heel of your left foot. Press down in those areas so much so that you might feel your inner left arch lift. Continue that lift along the inseam of your left leg. 
Travel that lift up to your left fingertips. Maybe you lift your left leg. Maybe you reach your left arm up and over. Take an inhale, stretch long. Exhale, place your foot down, return to tabletop. Switching sides, right leg extends back. Pivot your left shin, 45, 90 degrees to the left. Ground your right heel down, right arm reaches high. Same as the first side, acknowledge the parts of your body that are in contact with the ground. And then focus on lifting away from that. If you'd like to find those more detailed points on your right foot and find the lift in your right foot, you're more than welcome to do that too. Right arm is lifted, right side is lifted, inseam of right leg is lifted, maybe right leg lifts. Maybe right arm stretches up overhead, palm facing you. One more inhale, reach long. On your exhale, foot down, hand down, down dog. Hips go high, head goes low. At the top of your down dog, have feet about mats width apart. Take a soft bend to both knees. Walk your hands to your feet, the back edge of your mat. Once you find your feet, your hands to your feet, bring your feet to hips with distance, that two fist measurement. Soft bend to both knees. Take a breath out. From there, halfway lift in your spine. Crown of your head reaches forward. Hands either above or below your knees. Find low navel pulling up towards ribs and towards spine. Then wing your arms by your hips, palms face down. Once you find that, start to shift into your big toes, balls of both feet. Lift your heels, diver's pose. Try to have your knees over your toes, soft bend at the knees. Lift in your hips like you're in a downward facing dog, only you're parallel to the ground. So you're still finding a whole lot of lift in your seat. One more inhale. Exhale is chair pose, heels come down, arms sweep forward and up, sit back in space. Lift your chest forward and up, exhale to sit back, stay for the breath in. On your exhale, stand tall, hands come to heart center, breathe out at the top. <sighs> when you find your way there, shift onto your left foot, find a tree pose. Your right foot can be above or below your left knee. So as you're finding your tree pose, press your pelvis towards the top edge of your mat. Shoulder blades press down your back. Press your foot into your standing leg, standing leg into your foot. And reminder to avoid pressing your heel into your knee. So if that means your foot comes a little lower, that means that. And then two arms reach high. Your palms are going to separate. Shoulder blades press down your back. Open in your right knee. Lift it in your chest. We're transitioning into Utida B. Left hand comes to left hip. Your right hand can come onto your right shin. So if I'm facing you, hand on hip, other hand on shin. If you'd like to go farther out, you can take your leg out to the side. Interlacing your peace fingers and thumb around your big toe and lengthening your right heel to the right. Now, no matter which version you are choosing, remember shoulder blades press down your back. Top of your chest is lifted forward and up. Take one more big breath at the top, no matter which shape you chose. On your exhale, tree pose for just a moment, hands at the heart. Right knee turns forward. Lengthen your right leg. It can be two feet above the ground. It can be two inches. Big step forward, warrior three. Right foot steps forward. Left leg lifts up. Left heel in line with your hip as you reach the crown of your head forward. As you kick your left leg up, reach the crown of your head farther forward. One more time. Reach your head forward. Lift your leg up, up, up. Low lunge. Toes find the mat. So do hands. High lunge, arms sweep high, biceps frame your face. Press into your big toe, ball of foot, heel of your right foot. Long left leg is your anchor. From there, take a twist, left hand forward, right hand back. Thinking left armpit to right knee as you twist, twist, twist. 
Warrior two, as you unravel, left arm up and back, right hand forward. From here, toe heel your left foot in one or two times. Open your arms on a diagonal. Look to the top edge of your mat, glide into half moon, meaning rather than going down, go forward. Glide forward, left leg lifts. Lifting from the inseam of your left leg, right fingertips might find the ground. Maybe they stay floating. Reach high through your left fingertips. Kick away through your left leg. Left hip is stacked on top of right. One more inhale. On your exhale, warrior two. Reverse your warrior, right palm reaches up and over. On your exhale, two hands down. Step to plank. Take your favorite flow. We'll meet in downward facing dog for the final side. Awesome, awesome, awesome job. From your downward facing dog, look toward your big toes. And walk to the back edge of your mat. When you find the back edge of your mat, feet, hips width, take a halfway lift. Lift it in your chest. Lengthening from your tail through the crown of your head. Arms wing by your hips, palms face down. Start to shift forward onto big toes. Balls of both feet, heels lift. Low navel lifts your hips. Lifting in your tail. Lengthen in the back of your neck. Lengthen out through the crown of your head rather than your forehead. One more opportunity to lift in divers. Lift and lengthen. Lift. Exhale, chair. Heels come down. Arms sleep forward and up. Biceps frame your face as you sit back. Take an exhale. Last chair pose of practice. Inhale, lift in the top of your chest. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, stand up. Palms at heart center. Take a breath out when you arrive at the top. <sighs> this time, shift onto your right foot. Placing your left foot either above or below your right knee. Take your time to shift into your tree pose. To press your foot into your standing leg, standing leg into your foot. Once you find your base, arms reach high and palms might separate. Now know that as you're finding your tree pose, you might be a super sturdy tree or you might be more of a windy tree, meaning you wobble a little bit. No matter what kind of tree you are, you are a proud tree. So stay lifted in the top of your chest, shoulder blades pressed down your back, arms reach away on the diagonal, long branches. Inhale. And exhale. <sighs> Utita B, right hand to right hip. Left hand can find your shin, or you can invite back that peace finger grip, index finger, middle finger, thumb, wrapping around your left big toes as you extend out to the side. Now, as you find this once again, shoulder blades press down your back, proud in the chest. You're an expert at this at this point. <laughs> Rooted in your base as you find your shape. Even if you're holding on to your shin, rather than thinking shin into hand, think hand into shin to keep you more to center. Take one more cycle of breath at the top. On your exhale, tree for just a moment. So you can turn your left knee forward. Then lengthen in your left leg. Big step forward, warrior three. Left foot down, right leg lifts. Take your time as you start to come parallel to the ground beneath you. Right leg kicks back. Crown of your head reaches forward. Hips are pointing down towards the mat. Lift your chest towards your thumbs. Inhales to lengthen. Exhales to sustain your focus. One more inhale at the top. Exhale, low lunge, toes come down, so do fingertips. Take it to high lunge, arms reach all the way up. Landing at the top, finding your feet, squeeze of inner thighs towards center, just like low crescent lunge, but more lifted. Then twist, right hand forward, left hand back, left knee to right armpit as you wrap around your own spine. Twisting, twisting, twisting. Unravel warrior two, right arm up and back, left arm reaches forward. Take your time to find two feet on the ground. Then toe heel your right foot in one or two times. Open up your arms on a diagonal. Glide forward into half moon. Lift up and forward as you glide. 
Lift from the inseam of your right leg. Left ribs under right. Right hip over left. Kick out through your right foot. Reach forward through the crown of your head. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Warrior two on the breath out. When you find warrior two, reverse your warrior. Left hand reaches up and over. Next exhale, two hands down. Step to plank. Take it into your favorite flow. Amazing, amazing work. When you come to a downward facing dog, next breath in, reach your right leg all the way up. On your exhale, right knee to right wrist. Toes to the left side of your hip. It is half pigeon time. Make sure your right knee is outside of your hips. Slide your hips back, lower down onto forearms. Now as you're finding your way into your half pigeon, know that if you ever feel any sharp shooting pain in your right knee, you can return to figure four from the top of class. Right ankle over left, right hand on right hip, pressing down, forward and up. If you're in half pigeon, truthfully be in half pigeon. Sometimes the shape is the one where our minds will travel elsewhere, travel outside. Can you take this moment to bring it back to your body? Bring it into your hip stretch. Take a few more big rounds of breath into your right hip. After your third breath out, place your palms underneath your shoulders. Make your way to a down dog. At the top, you might shake out your right leg a little bit. Whenever you're ready, left side will be there with left leg lifting high. Left knee coming towards your left wrist, toes to the right side of your hip. Making sure your left knee is outside of your hips and sliding right leg back. If you were on your back for that recline figure four, you just switch whichever link ankle is on top. And whenever you settle into your shape, check in with your mouth. Notice if there's a lot of pressure between your tongue and the roof of your mouth. And if there is, just gently remove the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Allow for air to seamlessly flow into your left hip for a few more very big rounds of breath. After your next breath out, hands underneath your shoulders, press them out away. Return to downward facing dog to shake your leg out. And then place that foot down. From there, you can tap your knees down and make your way to sit. You might cross your ankles and slide your legs through. Or maybe you shift to one side and let your legs come forward. From there, finding a seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana. Take your time to find your seat on your sits bones. Legs can stay long or slightly bent. Reach your arms up and forward, grabbing onto your toes. So even if your knees are bent, you can still find length out through your heels. If your legs are long, you can grab on for the balls of both feet, pressing the balls of both feet into your palms. Looking at the top edge of your mat, taking a couple breaths here in the backs of both legs and in low back. Give yourself one more complete cycle of breath. And slowly roll up to a tall seat. Scooch yourself to the center of your mat so that you can come down onto your back. When you arrive on your back, 
have your feet planted, heels close to your seat, taking one bridge pose just to counter that folding. Hands beside your hips, palms face down. Root into both feet, scoop your pelvis forward and up in space. So you're scooping your pelvis forward and up and lengthening from the tops of your hips past your knees. Taking a few breaths here to lift a little higher in your pelvis or just to hover where you are. After your next breath out, gently lower your seat down. Give yourself a hug, knees in towards you, forehead to knees. Grab a hold of your shins, big squeeze. Thank your body for doing amazing work and let it go long. As you let your legs go long, know that now is when we will enter the yoga nidra portion of practice. So you're going to be in your shape for about 15 minutes. So if that information changes what shape you are in, highly recommend here picking a shape that you can really be in for about 15 minutes. I'll give you another 30 seconds to shift or move or find any additional things so you can find that shape. Once you find yourself in that shape where you can truly let the floor support you, allow for your eyes to close. Starting this practice of yoga nidra with a big round of breath. Use a soft SH to press your air out. Refill your lungs, expansive inhale. Open mouth side. <sighs> and let your breath breathe itself. Whether you stick to those Ujjayi breaths or maybe you just breathe in and out of the nose naturally. Allow yourself to listen to the space around you. Listening for furniture shifting. Footsteps outside, walking, cars passing by, birds chirping, airplanes in the sky. Trees rustling by your window. Footsteps of a loved one. Your skin against your mat. Your breath flowing in and out of your chest. As you let your breath breathe itself during this practice of yoga nidra, know that if you ever lose my voice, you can always return to it whenever you find it again without judgment. As your breath flows in and out of your chest, begin to envision a warm golden light. Allow for that light to shine on your big toes, your second toes, third toes, fourth toes, fifth toes. Letting the light travel to the soles of both feet, the tops of both feet, traveling through your ankles, your shins, the backs of your calves, through your knees, 
to your hamstrings, your thighs, and your hips, shining that light on your low belly, mid belly, both ribs, the center of your chest, that light traveling to your collarbones, your shoulders, biceps, triceps, through your elbows to your forearms, in both wrists to your thumbs, shining that light on your first fingers, second fingers, third fingers, fourth fingers, bringing that light to your palms and the backs of both hands. Then envision that warm golden light traveling to the base of your spine, going up to your low back, your mid back, upper back, the back of your neck, back of your head, the crown of your head, letting that light shine over your forehead to eyebrow center and both eyebrows and both eyelids, letting that light shine on your ears, your nose, your upper lip, your lower lip, both lips, your jaw, and your whole face. With that warm golden light glowing over your face, allow for that glow to grow as it shines over your whole body. Letting your breath breathe itself as you bask in the glow of the warm golden light. As you bask in this moment, breathing into yourself, Imagine yourself becoming heavier with every exhale. Your right leg becomes heavier. Your left leg becomes heavier. Your pelvis becomes heavier. As does your waist. The backs of your ribs the backs of your shoulders. Your right arm becomes heavier. Your left arm becomes heavier. The back of your head becomes heavier. Your whole body becomes so heavy that you could imprint the mat. Now change the idea. Your body now becomes lighter. Your right leg gets lighter. Your left leg gets lighter. Your pelvis is lighter, as is your waist. The back of your ribs, the back of your shoulders, your right arm, your left arm, the back of your head becomes lighter. Your body is so light that it floats atop the mat as if it were cotton. 
In this moment, cotton represents lightness and steel represents heaviness. Practice these two experiences alternately. The whole body is steel, solid steel. So heavy you could imprint your mat with your body shape. Now change the idea. Your body is cotton, fluffy cotton. So light and then fluffy, you begin to float away from your mat. Change once more. Your body is steel, heavy steel, sinking into the mat, into the ground beneath you. Now your body is cotton, soft, fluffy cotton. So light, your body hovers just on top of your mat. Changing one more time. Your body is steel, heavy, dense steel. So heavy, your body imprints the ground beneath you. Now your body is cotton, fluffy, soft cotton. So light, it rests atop the mat. Connecting back to your breath, staying present in your yoga nature practice. In this moment, noticing your breath, begin to count back from 11. Counting 11 inhales and 11 exhales. Every time you lose count, Return to 11 and begin counting again without judgment. 11 inhales and 11 exhales. Allow for your breath to flow in and out of you naturally. Paying attention to your breath, staying present in your yoga nidra practice. We will now enter some rapid visualizations. Allow for these images to come and go without attachment. Clean air, juicy strawberries, a cup of green tea, fields of lavender, caramel apples, pastel hot air balloons, soft clouds, blue sky, galloping horses, wet grass, crisp 
lettuce, iced tea, birds flying, strong gusts of wind, buzzing airplanes, fields of lavender, pastel hot air balloons, bright sun, a strong gust of wind, tall trees, a soft hum, fields of lavender, clear skies, the sun shines brightly in the sky. As it warms you, begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes, keeping your eyes closed, gently roll onto your right side with knees in close. Breathing deeply on your side body, feeling the warmth of the sun and the sturdiness of the ground beneath you. Slowly press to a tall seat. Legs might be crossed or out long. Maintaining closed eyes. Place your palms in your lap face up. In the center of your palms, there is a deflated balloon. This balloon will not burst no matter how much you fill it. With every exhale, fill it with anything you wish to send away. Any thoughts, any emotions, any experiences. Continue to fill your balloon with every exhale. Take three more breaths. Continue to fill your balloon. Your balloon will not burst, no matter how much you fill it. After your third breath out, your balloon ties everything you put into the balloon is there no longer in you it is now in your balloon keeping your eyes closed begin to lift your balloon lifting your arms overhead sending your balloon away as you lift your arms, gently tilt your chin upwards, seeing your balloon off as it floats into the sky, past the clouds, until it is no longer visible. Keep your arms lifted. Feel the gentle warmth of the sun on your skin Breathe into your body that has sent the balloon away. Take an expansive inhale, a complete exhale. Gently bring your palms to heart center. We will close this practice of yoga nidra with one soft om. Taking an inhale. 
Keeping your eyes closed, thumbs travel to third eye center. The practice of yoga nidra is now complete. Bowing yourself forward, namaste. Bringing the hands back to the heart, you may open your eyes whenever you are ready. Thank you all so, so much for practicing with me. For the very first move and meditate here on Om Stars. Thank you all for coming. Take all the time you need to get up, maybe drink some water, and hopefully have a great rest of your Saturday.